guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share a really easy, quick on how to use loose glitter. I still get a ton of questions on how I use loose glitter and what is actually the easiest way. In one of my older videos I have shared five techniques with five different types of loose glitter and how to apply those. I will leave that one in the end screen at the end of the video if you're curious to see how it is done with different types of glitters and five different techniques as well. But I really want to go in depth into one of those techniques which I personally feel like is the most easy way to apply it. You don't need a lot of like ninja nail art skills or anything like that. You only need a good base color, you will need a top coat and of course you will need some loose glitter of your personal preference and choice. But let's just quit rambling and get right into this tutorial and of course if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell as well and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube. But yeah, I really hope you're going to like it. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, definitely let me know in the comment section down below as well and I will get right back to you as soon as possible. But yeah, I love you so so much and I hope to see you in my next video as well. So let's get into the tutorial, but first of all, I wanted to share with you what I was already wearing on my nails. As you can see, I was still rocking my Halloween gel polish set on my right hand, but on my left hand, what we are using as base color, base coat, and so on is actually the apricot base by Dior and a beautiful white with a soft pearlescent kind of touch polish. This one is by Rimmel. It is called White Hot Love and I have applied only one layer of that on top of the base, of course waiting for everything to be dry before continuing. I am going to use two different glitters today because I just wanted to try out some glitters that I had in my collection. The one by NYX was actually really new. I hadn't opened it before and the other one is actually one I got sent out. I think it's like two years ago already and it's just a really really nice lovely glitter both glitters are cosmetic glitters by the way so i am going to use um, top coat for this particular technique it is super easy i'm going to use some different tools such as a dotting tool and some different brushes but it's totally up to you what you want to use these are just some tools that i tend to use a lot for now i'm just going to use one of my resin plates to mix the glitter and top coat together and i am just going to mix it all up with the dotting tool it doesn't really matter if you use a toothpick or anything else that is similar to a dotting tool to mix it all up. You can use your brush as well, but I just really love how quick and easy it is to do it with that dotting tool. And I'm just going to apply that mixture of glitter and top coat to the nails with one of my flat nail art brushes. The one I am going to use is one by Pink Jellock, by the way. They have sent that one out to me as well. I'm really, really happy with it because I can not only use it for gel polish manicures, but also for regular nail polish stuff like what I'm doing in this video. So yeah, I'm just going to dunk some glitter out on my little like resin plate. You can use like a regular dish for this as well if you don't have anything like this. And as a top coat, I'm just just using a very random one I have sitting on my desk. This one is by Essie. This one does dry fairly quickly. It isn't specifically a quick dry top coat. Um, I would highly recommend to not use a quick dry top coat, but this one still dried pretty fast. But I've done this so often that I know how fast I have to work to actually make this work, you know? So yeah, what you want to do is just take your top coat um, of your personal choice and just add that to the glitter. I am actually going to mix the two different glitters into the top coat all together and make my own specific glitter mix and just apply that to the nail. As you can see here, I had already a little dent in my nail polish because you know, stuff happens. Sometimes your nail polish gets a little dent or anything like that in it and this specific application of glitter 
is just perfect to cover up little flaws and mistakes like that. So you just want to scoop up that mixture with your brush. Um, try to work a little bit fast because you know top coats do dry especially regular nail polish top coats and yeah just apply it like you would do any other nail polish just apply it with a brush or whatever tool you like to use you can use one of those like silicon tools as well if you feel like that works good for you um, i just really love this flat brush because it has synthetic hairs um, so the hairs won't get mangled up or anything like that if you're going to use items like regular nail polish or gel polish for that matter um, yeah it's just it is so easy and you know like just watching this footage you can see how easy it is and it is actually a lot of fun to play around with the different glitters as well one thing that i really want to like share in this video is that um, I am using cosmetic glitters and the reason why I do so is not only for like health safety stuff um, but also they keep their color way longer and way better than if you would use for example craft glitter um, of course you can use craft glitter as well but these are actually um, not always safe to use on nails skin whatever you know like cosmetic glitter is so if you have the chance to use cosmetic glitter for your nails or anything like that definitely go for it they're just i don't know a lot safer to use you know but if you have craft glitter and you are going to be sure you won't um like get it everywhere onto your skin or anything like that be my guest do so because we are going to cap it in with an extra layer of top coat afterwards but back to the footage, as you can see, I was just bedazzling and glittering up the rest of my nails. I'm just going to keep it to my pointer finger and my middle finger one, just to show you what the glitters look like, just mixed on their own with a little bit of top coat. I really love this NYX one. It is a beautiful kind of like opalescent, translucent kind of looking glitter. The other one from the nail team, that one is an opaque colored glitter so you don't really have like that translucent um opalescent kind of look as the nyx one has as i mentioned you can have so much fun creating your own glitter mixes so definitely grab some items that you might have already laying around in your collection and just have fun and you know sometimes you spill a little glitter i just dunked a whole bunch out of that little glitter pot and that wasn't supposed to happen but you know stuff happens i tend to keep all of my mistakes and stuff like that in my videos just to show you that it's perfectly fine to make mistakes everybody does it we're all human and yeah let's just learn together from all of our mistakes and definitely let me know if you've had some really bad glitter spills in the comments down below because i can tell you one story about a blue glitter like one little glitter pot even smaller than the ones i'm using here that that got spilled all over me like a couple of years ago it was a beautiful like sapphire blue kind of glitter and to this day like years later i still find the blue glitter everywhere it is crazy i thought i had cleaned it all up vacuumed it all up but you know it gets everywhere i kid you not so definitely let me know if you have any like similar stories to that i would love to hear about that in the comment section down below but yeah this is pretty much the easiest way to use loose glitter in combination with a regular nail polish of course you can definitely do the exact same technique and just steps with gel polish but be sure to cure it and also make sure to not get any of the mixture with the gel onto the skin before you cure it or at least make sure to remove it before curing but before we are going to apply that final layer like the thick layer of top coat to really seal it all in making sure that all of the glitter lays flat you want to make sure that you give those mixtures on your nails some time to dry and in the meantime you can just clean your brush 
clean your palette, scoop back any glitter that you haven't used on your nails back into little pots. Make sure to really screw back the caps on those pots because otherwise you'll be just like me finding glitter for the rest of your life in random places. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure that once everything is fully dry, go in with maybe the same top coat you just used for the mixture or maybe another one that has your personal preference and really, really cap in in that glitter with a layer of that. I actually used double the amount of top coat that I would usually do just to make sure that pretty much all of the glitter has a nice layer of that and the end result and the nail surface itself is as smooth as possible. Of course if you are using gel polish for this or maybe a builder gel instead you can just file off any like harsh or sharp edges but for regular polishes that is not really doable. So just apply a good layer of top coat. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. And as usual, I hope to see you in one of my next videos as well.